Hello Capricorn. Let's get your reading. See what's happening in love for Capricorn. Ooh, strength and the Nine of Pentacles. So single ladies looking good, but looking strong in the love department. All right, Capricorn, what do we have here? Let's see what we have for Capricorn. In the recent past, what is the energy spirit for Capricorn? There we go. Ten of Pentacles. Legacy relationship can be a marriage, oftentimes is. A long-term, beautiful relationship of deep love, abiding abundance, abundance, and a very down-to-earth Virgo energy. Day in and day out, you hit it out of the ballpark together in your relationship. The Ace of Swords is the current energy. That is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. How does your person view the situation at this time, Capricorn? Whoops. Ah, they are resting. Look at this. Beautiful Four of Swords. This is resting energy. It can be healing energy. Your person might be just needing to take a break for themselves. They may have been very busy. It can also mean, though, that the relationship has gone through a lot of upheavals and that there's a healing phase going on. So they view the situation as something has happened that needs to be worked through with truth and with integrity and hard work of that Virgo energy. The Five of Cups, they feel they owe you an apology. They feel that you might owe them an apology. Five of Cups is someone who views you as a person who is disappointed in them, that feels sad about the relationship. They feel as though you haven't given up hope, but they also think you're taking a pessimistic view of what has transpired. <clears throat> in their heart space, temperance card, they want a reconciliation. They want to reconcile the differences. They want to heal the relationship. They want to balance things out. And they want to get the relationship back onto strong footing again. That is a card of love. It's my number one card of working through problems. Two of Pentacles. They view this situation as one that could go either way. The Two of Pentacles means a decision has not been made and that it's, um, it's Capricorn energy. Capricorn, here you are in your reading. But they feel as though you might be juggling them or juggling a decision. The two of you might be juggling a decision. So we're going to clarify everything so we get a really clear-cut picture for you, Capricorn. What is the mutual hidden, hidden energy between you and your beloved? Hidden energy, the hidden energy. All right. Okay, interesting energy. You have three cards that popped out. So your energy is the Ace of Wands. You still have fire in your belly, quite literally. In the excitement and pleasure centers of your brain, you both want to be together. The Three of Cups is all about the friendship that flows between the two of you. It's about the celebration of life, and both of you still are very much in that energy. The Eight of Swords says that there's something that has happened that has made you both feel as though you have to hold back, that you can't tell the truth or that you can't really say what's on your mind. And both of you need to speak the truth. Very much so. But the Eight of Swords also is a big angel, you know, in a cage, and the and it's open. So it does show that the Eight of Swords is more of a it's more of a myth. It's a story we tell ourselves. It's, you know, we think, oh, we can't do anything about this. But the truth is, is that you can. So, but that is the energy both of you are holding back at this time so that you can maintain the passion and the joyfulness of the relationship. What is Spirit advising you, Capricorn? What is Spirit advising Capricorn? Queen of Wands energy. Boss up. Take control, Capricorn. The Queen of Wands energy is definitely Aries energy. Take action. Show your love. Show your passion. Get out of this energy of holding yourself back. Don't just be friends and lovers. This is really talking about, you know, take control, take command. Make this, this beautiful legacy relationship that you started out wanting um, at the early part of this relationship. 
What is the outcome? The Sun card, the happiest card in the deck, Leo energy. It looks as though the two of you are going to work through things. You are staying very happy. You are staying very focused. Summer sun. I love it. This is the, the card of romance and sex and fun and joyfulness. And you know that the Four of Swords and the healing cards here just could indicate that both of you are exhausted. You might have been locked in the house too long or you might have spent too much time with each other that was, you know, sort of took a little bit of the fun out of things, right? The King of Swords energy is your advice. You know, take a long view. Look at the big picture. Don't think, take anything too seriously that uh, could really unravel both of you. So we're looking at that. We see the Sam Samurai King. You can see the bird's eye is the same eye as a Samurai King. And that is Aquarius energy. It's very enlightened, but it also shows look from a higher perspective at what's going on because this relationship holds so much happiness, so much joy. It's not often. The Sun card is almost a requirement to have a happy marriage or a legacy relationship. And we can really see that with the Ten of Pentacles. We can see that that is something that both of you strive for. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Pentacles. The two of you will hold on to each other. It's great energy. It just says that at the end of the day, uh-uh, I'm not giving up. I'm not going anywhere. I am right here for the long haul. Let's see what the Moon of the Oracle says. Moon, the Moon Oracle. I can't ever remember quite the name of these, but this is quite lovely. And let's see what we have for advice. Capricorn. What is the advice for our Capricorn friends from the Moon of the Oracle? The Queen, the Queen. What is the name of this deck? The Queen of the Moon Oracle, okay. Capricorn, the Queen of the Moon Oracle is going to give you some advice. Let's see what it has to say. Self-reflection. Before anybody looks at anyone else, you should look at yourself and see what you contribute. But that's beautiful. Love yourself, love your person, love both sides of your personalities. Everybody has ups and downs. Just have the wisdom to see things from a higher perspective. Also, use your willpower to bring this beautiful sun card into alignment with your energy at this time. Have some fun, heal. Do a little dance, make a little love, get down tonight, enjoy yourself, get outside. Let's see what the wisdom of the Shaman's Dream Oracle has for you. Let's see. Deep dive, diving into a task, okay. So it looks like you might be doing something that helps build home, hearts. You might be embarking on some sort of project of some sort with each other. But it's also a deep dive into your true feelings. It's really digging deep and sharing with each other. The Garden of Venus, rest and renewal. And that is what this card is about, rest and renewal. So there we go. That is sending you love from Chicago. Take care, Capricorn. Bye-bye.